Hi everyone, David and Ninette here with Tigner Adventures, and today is the big day. Yay! Yep, we have said our <laughs> goodbyes to everybody, but we are leaving Sundance RV Resort. We've been here for the last six months, and if you look back behind us there, you can see we have everything cleaned up, and we are leaving for Tucson today. So this is the very first day um, of our trip. So for seven months and 14,000 miles. <laughs> yep. He yep. has to go everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun. Yep. And you're going to come along with us, right? After 1,000 feet turn left onto South Foothills Boulevard. After 800 feet turn left to join the Interstate 8 East towards Tucson. Now join the highway. Well, it is day one of our big trip and we have arrived in Tucson, Arizona. You can see we're all parked back here behind us. Uh, we are at Snyder Hill it's a, a BLM dispersed camping area. It's just outside of Tucson, about eight miles. You can see that uh, a number of people are already here parked and it's a pretty nice little area. It's not, uh, it's right next to one of the roads, but it's not a very busy road. But we got a little bit of everybody here. Everyone's just having fun. And look at our sunset that we have. This is really pretty. Arizona definitely has some nice sunsets. Okay, one night down for Tucson, Arizona. That was a really dark and peaceful night. Uh, it was pretty good. So uh, really a nice place here. So we've got a few things we're gonna get done here in Yuma. Uh, we have a pro or we had a problem. I, I'm gonna show you what I've done. And if there's any of you uh, that are propane experts, please jump in here and help us out. But uh, when we arrived, we came from Yuma, which is about um, 400 uh, elevation. And we are in, in uh, Tucson, which is right around 2,500 elevations where we're at right now. And so apparently the pressure in our propane tank built up. And so it wouldn't work. Ninette was trying to use the, uh, the um, cooktop and it wouldn't stay lit it would just shut off and and uh, so I turned the thing off and then I waited a little bit and turned it on and it would start up and go and then it would just slowly bleed out so letting very little through so it's like the automatic valve was being kept off or something I don't know uh, anyway some kind of issue we've ran into this before when we've changed elevations and gone from sea level and gone way up you know usually we get to Salt Lake or something and and then we want to get our tank filled uh, more and they can't even get uh, the tank to fill up. They usually end up bleeding off a bunch of air. So I made sure that we turned everything off and then I had to, I just took this release valve that they normally let the air out when they're filling the tank up and I just let it open a little bit and I you know, kept going back and forth so I didn't get very much propane smell. And I just kind of bled off some of the uh, pressure on the tank. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or not, but then it started working. So those of you that are propane guys and uh, work on propane and everything, maybe you can kind of give me an idea as to uh, how you deal with that problem. Cause that's the only way I could actually get it to work. And I don't know if that's the safest way to do it or not, but uh, not having any sparking available anywhere, you know, had that all turned off and everything was the safest way I could think to uh, resolve that issue. And, so I would definitely uh, be open to any suggestions that you guys might have. One thing we don't have in Yuma is a Costco. So hey, look at this, we get to go into Costco. We are inside Costco and we get to go shopping in Costco. Yay, exciting. <laughs> Haven't been here for six months. Yep, need some batteries. We always seem to be running low on those things. 
Well, this is Friday, and look how big the line is to get out. I can't imagine what it would be like on a Saturday or Sunday here. Well, $200 worth of not very much. <laughs> it all fits in that little box. Isn't that amazing? Okay, just a little bit of technical difficulty here. Uh, only took a picture instead of a video, but we are now left Costco and heading over to Fry's. And what we want to do here is uh, we build up points that we can use for uh, to off of fuel. So every uh, 100 points gives you uh, 10 cents off a gallon. And so currently we have over 3,000 points. So we want to now go here and do what we need to to get uh, 4,000 points. So we're going to go in here and buy some things, check out some gift cards. We'll see what we need to buy to get enough points to be able to make our 4,000 goal. Okay, we have got back. Um, so we actually needed, um, we had 3,400 points before we went into Kroger. And so we had to get 600 points. And we did that with buying groceries. We got five times the points on groceries because we're a Boost uh, member. We're a Boost member because we took out the Kroger credit card, which uh, adds an extra 55 cents per gallon when we're getting gas. So we now have 4,030 points um, built up for this month, for the month of uh, March, that we can use all the way through April. And so that means we'll get $1.55 off per gallon for four Phillips. So 35 gallons for each uh, one of the Phillips it usually costs us, or takes about 50 gallons to fill up the rig each time we stop. So that's, uh, that'll be a pretty good savings, a couple hundred dollars, almost $300 in savings. So it's well worth uh, building up those points. All right, we are going for a little walk. We're trying this, we got the cage open with Tansy's leash on, leash on. That way she can kind of stick her head out. Cause it's, I think she's getting a little big for the cage. <laughs> What's up, Tansy? Oh, huh? Big dog over there. Oh, big dog over there? Okay. How's that? Can you look around and everything? Guess we just need to make sure we don't slow down so she can jump out. But at least she's on a leash if she does. So we are full-time RVers. And one of the things that uh, you got to keep in mind as we're out and about is that we still need to have some kind of schedule. and. One of the things that we've decided is we need to start going on walks. <laughs> I'm actually lazy. <laughs> Ninette's always playing pickleball and I'm like, yeah, whatever, go ahead and um, play pickleball. Um, but I just sit back and work on videos or play the guitar or something, but uh, we need to start getting out and doing things. <clears throat> and so we've decided that as we travel this summer we're going to start walking in the morning before we take off so and night oh both times <laughs> man she, she's really stretching it here so <laughs> anyway this has been fun this is our first day of our or first stop of our trip this summer and the thing is is that we had a lot of things to get done you know, we had to get <clears throat> groceries, go to Costco, all that kind of stuff. So that's what this video is all about. It's just normal things that we got to do every day, but uh, to be make full sure time. The propane works. <laughs> yeah, make sure the propane works and everything. So we've come to a little cable here we got to get past. You enjoying it back there, Tansy? Huh? Look at the cars over there. Yeah. You're kind of scared during the day, huh? She really likes going out at night a lot better. The only issue with that night is that um, sometimes it can be a little bit more dangerous. There is an owl that Ninette seen last night. Owls like white cats. Yeah. So, so good she wasn't walking around. Yeah, she uh, she doesn't like to. Uh, she yeah, she always bait. likes to. Yeah, she don't like to be owl bait. She likes to uh, hide and everything. So anyway, so. Trying to get her used to this backpack so we can take her. She yeah. Gets out to you. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, after a while, she'll climb up on my shoulders and be more comfortable. But we'll see. We'll see. We got to kind of keep her on a leash all the time because, 
you know, get scared. she gets scared and then she darts away. We don't want her running someplace she's not supposed to. But uh, anyway, so we're trying it out. But anyway, this is uh, our last day in Tucson. We're going to check out a few different things. Um, it's supposed to be cloudy, really windy today. So there is a Bummer. yeah stargazing thing tonight, but it's supposed to be cloudy and rainy. So and I don't think that, and really windy, yeah. Uh, 35 to 38 mile an hour winds. So yeah, it was, uh, yesterday was, in the afternoon was really windy too. So anyway, so I think we're just gonna go ahead and close this video out now. And uh, tomorrow we're gonna be taking off to head to, uh, over to the Texas border. So we have a lot of stops to do and uh, little quirky places to check out as we're going, but it's just gonna be a day of travel. You know, when we're staying at uh, rest areas, I really don't like to get there very early. And then you're just kind of sitting around at the rest area all the time. So uh, we like to do things and and keep busy and everything. So anyway, well, I'm, I guess I'm losing my breath because I'm talking. But uh, anyway, no, out of shape. <laughs> oh, I'm out of shape. Okay. <laughs> well, you guys well take <laughs> yeah. You guys take care, and um, we'll uh, see you on the next video if we don't see you in person somewhere. So. Uh, you guys take care, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.